Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope everybody's day is off to a great start. I'm thankful to be in the land of the living this morning. I'm thankful to be amongst the living this morning. I'm thankful that God woke me up this morning and gave me another chance. Uh, so for those of y'all who don't know, I am Grace Amber. I come on every Monday through Friday morning and drop a word here. I'm also on uh, TikTok. I also have my own website, www.iamgraceamber.com. And I also do podcasts, which you can access uh, through my website. I got a quick word for y'all today. Uh, what are you allowing or should I say who are you allowing to control your mind are you allowing the flesh to control your mind or are you allowing your mind to be controlled by the spirit turn with me in your bibles to romans the eighth chapter and I want to go down to the sixth verse and it reads the mind of sinful man is death but the mind controlled by the spirit is life and peace the mind of sinful man, which is typically what we call flesh, the mind of sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the spirit is life and peace. Who are you allowing to control your mind? I talked about that yesterday and I was talking about how people tend to seek the fruit of the spirit, but they live in the flesh and you can't get the fruit of the spirit unless you are living in accordance with the spirit. So if you are living and being governed by your flesh, you are going to reap the, reap the fruit thereof. But if you are living in accordance with the spirit, you are going to reap the fruit of the spirit, right? And so my word for today is this. Who are you allowing to control your mind? How do you know if you are allowing your flesh to control your mind? Are you allowing these things to control your mind? Galatians, the fifth chapter, 19th verse. The acts of the sinful nature, flesh. The acts of the sinful nature are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, and debauchery, idolatry, and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. Are you allowing things like that to control your mind? If so, you are going to reap the fruit thereof. And not only that, if you are allowing your flesh to control your mind, the, the verse says the mind of sinful man is death, okay? What we are looking for, what we desire is the fruit of the spirit, but we have to live in accordance with the spirit and let the spirit control our mind so that we can reap the fruit thereof. We want life and we want peace. And if you want life and if you want peace, guess what you're going to have to let control your mind? The spirit. And the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. My word for today is this. Who are you allowing to control your mind? Are you allowing your flesh to control your mind? Or are you allowing the spirit to control your mind? The mind of sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the spirit is life and peace. If you want the fruit of the spirit, if you want the life and the peace that comes from the spirit, you're going to have to let the spirit control your mind. I'm Grace Amber. I'll be right back on tomorrow. I love y'all very much.